Welcome to the Rift. We are reviewing Aaronism's Yasuo. Many would consider one of the best Yasuos in Europe right now. Currently rank three. Now, keep in mind, this is also during the early stages of Wild Rift. So there are a lot of undiscovered Yasuos right now. Many of them probably haven't even installed the app yet. So uh, keep that in mind when watching this. But uh, nevertheless, this is a very talented Yasuo main. As we get into the matchup here, it is an Orianna versus Yasuo matchup. And honestly, I'd say this is probably a skill matchup. There's not really a favored side because I've seen Orianas destroy Yasuo's in lane. I've seen Yasuo's destroy Orianas in lane. I think overall, though, at a high level of play, an Orianna is favored in this matchup because she can poke out the Yasuo. However, if you are a pretty skilled Yasuo and you have really good combos, then uh, you can actually um, get some solo kills on the Orianna in lane. So we'll see how this game plays out. Yasuo taking actually a chunk there at the beginning. We did see him take a tower shot. So, so far not favorable for the Yasuo. However, he is going to sustain them up with the honey fruits. Fortunately, he does have those. We're going to see what's going to happen here as the waves meet in the center. We'll see what the Yasuo decides to do. Is he going to go for some trades or is he just going to safely last hit here? Looks like the Orianna is not looking to push the wave. She wants to try to get some harass on the Yasuo when he goes up with a cannon. So Orianna's going to grab the cannon. Yasuo knows he has to go in soon. He actually might just go for trade here as he hits the cannon. He is. Orianna's going to use her shield. Yasuo's going to go back in. Grab some hits there. Miss the uh, minion there. And overall, pretty much same HP bar, I'd say. Somewhat of a 50-50 um, trade. And uh, Yasuo, once again, just kind of playing safe. Going for the last hits, not really initiating any trades at the moment. As we look at the uh, map right now, it looks like the dragon lane is actually shoved underneath. Which means there could be a roam play or something like that happening soon. We'll see. Yasuo is going to see us under the tower grabbing both of those uh, casters, which is good. First blood is actually going to happen in the uh, dragon lane. Shivana's going to gank and it looks like the Lulu's going to go down. I had a feeling something was going to happen as they were shoved under the tower for quite some time there by the Jinx and the Alistar. It's going to result in the first kill of the game. Yasuo is going to go for the base here. As he walks back to lane here, I would imagine the Orianna's probably setting up the wave. And she is setting it up for, I believe, yep, it is looking like a little bit of a slow push. However, I don't think it's actually going to slow push as the wave will crash, I believe. Yeah, it's going to actually just crash in her tower. So this will actually set up a slow push for the Yasuo. Let's see if he decides to utilize it. As we see the items pulled up there, Yasuo has a crit cloak and a zeal. Oop, Yasuo, oop, he's taking a lot of damage there, unnecessary. A little bit of unnecessary damage, it's all good though, he is going to sustain that back up. Taking the cannon minion, taking some more damage, as the Alistar actually goes for the roam here. I had a feeling something like that was going to happen, because usually Alistar's in high elo love to roam. As the Jin follows, we're going to see what happens here. Oh, he is going to take it and actually survive. Wow. Yasuo is going to survive right there. The crit from the Jin ult and he's going to base. Huge, huge, um, I guess, setback for the red team because they committed that uh, roam play from the entire dragon lane with the ADC and the support and Oriana all trying to kill the Yasuo and he's just barely going to get out. Barely, barely going to get out. And he's going to go ahead and base, of course, pick up some items. And it looks like they are going to go for the dragon there. And actually, Wukong steals the dragon. That's huge. Especially with it being a mountain. And Yasuo's just going to ultimate in there. Off of the knockup. Flashes for the Jin, Ignites him. And is he going to get the Orianna as well? Double kill for the Yasuo. Really aggressive there. But it's going to pay off. As the Shivana is kind of just... Okay. Shivana, I... I don't really know what she was thinking there. Shivana basically just asked the Yasuo if he would like a free kill. And Yasuo said, of course, Shivana, I would love to have a free kill 
especially this early in the game thank you very much so Yasuo right now with three kills on the board many players would consider him fed at this point in the game especially with such a um good scaling champion like Yasuo uh this is gonna be hard for the red team to uh work around especially with the the team fights the team fights Yasuo will be a menace force to be reckoned with he's gonna pick up the cannon there Taking a look at the minimap, it looks like we saw a little bit of a roam going on. Alistar looks like they're going for the same play they did before. However, this time, they're not even going to grab a single nick of damage on the Yasuo. He's just going to get out with full HP. And he's going to take the caster minions there. Yasuo deciding if he wants to shove the next wave or is he going to roam? What does he want to do? He's just going to opt for the recall right there. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't really think he should recall. That wouldn't make much sense. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and uh, clear this wave here. As looks like they're looking for the Herald as I take a peek at this mini-map. Yasuo is going to go for this. I would as well. Let's see what happens here with this Herald. Is it going to be a steal? Who is going to secure it? Red Team's going to secure the Herald. Yasuo going in for the damage here. Ultimates... Kills the Alistar. Kill He's actually got a double kill. I guess he killed... I, yeah, he did finish the Mundo. He did get the finishing blow on him. And uh, he is pretty low right now. So he's not able to go back in. Lulu, is she going to survive? Yes. I don't know. Yes, I think, I think she made it out. Goes for the base. I don't think she's quite safe though. Yasuo actually in danger still. And actually, no. Lulu just gets picked off right there. Yep. And Yasuo fortunately does get out alive. Also very low in that fight. Yasuo's got lucky a couple times now. Almost getting uh, caught out. However, he's been playing really, really well regardless. Common collected and playing aggressive in the team fights when he needs to. That's how you want to play a Yasuo. As we can see, there's a Mundo down here. Alistar going for the engage. Mundo's caught out. He's going to go down. Let's see what Yasuo does here. Is he, He's actually going to take the knockup onto the Jin here. He's going to proc that Guardian Angel. He is. And is he going to NATO him on the spawn? He is. He's seeing him right there. Taking the kill. And actually Jinx is going to grab that one. That is all good. Any kill on Jinx is going to be beneficial. Especially since he uh, scales extremely well. And as we can see, Yasuo is on his power spike right now. At least what most would consider Yasuo's biggest item power spike. The... Uh, the 100% uh, crit, so, you know, Static Shiv IE or Phantom Dancer IE. And I think it's kind of important to note that Yasuo's running Swifties or Swift Boots. Swiftness, whatever you want to call them, because usually Yasuo's don't run those. And actually, we've got a dragon fight happening right here, so we're going to go ahead and watch this. Yasuo going in actually without his team there, which is a little bit questionable. He's going to burn Flash to get out. And he's actually... Is he going to go back in? Really? Okay. We'll see what he does here. He could sustain it. After all, he's pretty fed. And no. He's actually just going to get taken out by the Mundo right there. Definitely not the best decision making from the Yasuo there. But, you know, you can't you can't be the perfect human being. So, uh, okay. I'm actually not quite sure what the Mundo was doing walking up there. He's just going to get taken out for free right there. Giving Yasuo another freebie. So we'll go ahead and see what Yasuo opts to do now that they got the Wukong out of the way and the red team is not anywhere on the blue side's map. Looks like they're going to go for the jungle camps, which is something you always want to do on the Yasuo, by the way. Especially with the, the Raptors. They're so easy to take. Take the enemy Raptors as Yasuo. You take them very quickly and you can deny them a lot of gold. Team fight breaking out. Lulu ult goes on to the Yasuo. This is a very interesting spot for a team fight, I will say. Jin's gonna go with the ultimate. Good ultimate by Jin. Let's see what he can land here. Going for that Lulu. Yasuo's gonna grab the Alistar right there. Going for the... Ooh, is he gonna get that Shivana in time? No, Shivana will take out the Lulu. But she does have the GA, the Shivana at least. So she will get out. But still die after the Yasuo chases her down. Yasuo almost dead. Huge ultimate. Keeping him alive for another kill and some extra damage. But he unfortunately will go down right after. Yeah, that was an interesting fight for sure. A lot of blows being exchanged by both sides. As they are going for the jungle camps here. And... Looks like we're getting a little bit of a grouping happening here in mid lane, maybe? Okay, they're roaming down to the river. Never mind. <clears throat> 
Castle clearing the wave, of course. Don't forget, minions are very important. Even if you're fed on kills and you feel like you can, you know, get your items that way, very important. Keep up with your farm. Go to your lane or the side lane, wherever you're trying to get your farm from at that point in the game, and just clear that wave off. And another team fight breaking out right now in the top river. Yasuo getting Lulu ulted once again. Big ultimate from the Yasuo. Proking the Guardian Angel. A lot of Guardian Angels at this level of play, especially in this patch. Jinx is going to grab the kill. Yasuo flashes for the Alistar. And actually, that was a pretty good flash. That's going to carry him right on over. And set this Jinx up for a triple kill. That is one of the worst things you want to see when the Jinx is on the enemy team is for her to get a triple kill. Jinxes get extremely strong with kills. With gold, all AD carries do, but especially Jinx. Fed Jinx and Fed Yasuo. Definitely not something you want to deal with. And Yasuo is going to go ahead and pick up the Guardian Angel and the big BF sword. At least what that's what most people call it. BF sword on top of his, you know, core items right there. So pretty good power spike for the Yasuo. He's going to be a lot harder to completely kill now because of that Guardian Angel. So we'll see what he opts to do now. He's really strong. If I were him, I'd be looking to fight as much as he possibly can. Just because of that huge spike in power. And it looks like he will not take that knock up off the Gragas. Looks like he's forcing the fight here against the Jin. Jin's got a flash. Yeah, Jin's got a flash out of that. Of course. And it looks like Yasuo. Ooh, he's running into the three. Is he going to survive here? He actually, well, he will because of the Guardian Angel. But unfortunately, it will get procced. Not the worst, though. Gragas is actually still up there chasing him down. Gragas grabbing the triple kill right there. Honestly, I'd say that was worth Yasuo's Guardian Angel. And it looks like... Yeah, they're going to get an ace there, and uh, blue team is just going to shred these towers down. We're either going to get a surrender here, or they're just going to hit the nexus. We'll see. Tanking tower shots, which is all good. And yeah, as we can see here, nexus is just going to be shredded. And overall, very impressive performance from Aaronism's Yasuo. There are a few mistakes here and there. Um, objective mistakes, but this happens to players at all elos. Even in Challenger. So we can't be too harsh on him for that. Now as we take a look at the final scoreline. I believe it should show right after this victory screen. Yes. Maybe. No. There it is. Okay. So Yasuo 11, 2, and 9. Overall very good score coming out from that Yasuo. Especially at that high level of play. Since this is my first video on the Rift Reviews channel, I want you guys to let me know what are some champions or some players in specific that you want me to do a review on. You can mention their YouTube channels or some way for me to find the replay and we'll go ahead and do a review on them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed episode one of the Rift Reviews and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out.